Welcome to day 2 of this India Pakistan test. The match is right in between. We scored 180 something and in reply Pakistan are 74 for 4. They were actually 40 for 4 but then they formed a good partnership here. We are going to go with pace just because this is a new day. Let's see if if we can do anything with pace. I highly doubt it. We'll have to most probably go back to spin very fast. Let's see if we can produce some swing. Salman Ali on the other end, oh, that was quick and a Yorker as well, but he's managed to somehow squeeze it away for four. And that has gone right in between his legs. That is a perfect nutmeg. Now let's go with Jadeja here, slow left armor against a right hander. That ball did not turn at all. Look at that for an action. He is coming right through the middle stump from the opposite end. Well, there's a crack right in front of the batsman. If he can pitch it there and hope the ball does something. Ah, oh, so close. An inside edge there. We need wickets quickly because we haven't put up a big target and we definitely cannot allow them to play shots like that. That was smacked. Bumrah on this end hasn't given away runs. But I just don't think fast bowlers can pick wickets here again. Some bat on it. And that will save him as well. Tossed up off the back foot. Punched in the gap. And that ball races away for four. That is one amazing shot off the back foot. Not smacked, just a punch. And the ball pitches right under his nose. Races away. Just... Just amazing timing. Well, this partnership is starting to become a little annoying. They are trailing by less than 100 now. And if they don't lose wickets, now mm, this game is just going to run away from us. Good fielding there. Finally, let's go with Ashwin. 2 for 23 of 10 overs. And swept beautifully. Swept powerfully as well. Mm, that wasn't a panel sweep or anything. That was a full fledged smack. And it goes away for four. Pitching outside the leg stump. So he was safe from an LBW there. Ah, drives it in the air. Maybe I should have a silly mid off. Let's see if Shami can do anything. Mm, pace on one end, spin on the other. Oh, gets the outside edge and gone. That was an outswinger. It didn't swing a lot, but it did straighten just a little bit. He tries to punch it off the back foot and maybe just not short enough for a back foot shot. Edged and an absolutely unbelievable catch behind the stumps. We finally get the breakthrough we wanted, but the job is still not done. That's been played beautifully in the air, but we have deep extra there. So that will be only one, I think. Anytime one team gets ahead in this test match, the other team just pulls them back. It has been an almost perfect even Steven battle here. One team goes a little ahead than the next. Look at that. That was good running. I didn't think they ran at all, but they've sneaked a run through. That's been hit in the air. Not in the gap though. Well fielded. That will be only two I think at most. Just a single. Very well done then. You have a somewhat odd feel because they keep smacking me through extra cover. An off cutter. And look at how much that ball deviated off the pitch. Maybe cutters and slower balls are the answer with fast bowling here. Look at that. That is unreal. We One good thing we have done in this innings is we haven't given away a lot of runs. They have managed to score a lot of boundaries but still their run rate is below 3. Nice shot though. It was a Dusra picks it and drives it away on the up for four. Tossed up. Gets him on his pad. Turns a little bit more and we would have seen the middle stump on the ground. Nawaz is struggling a little here. 22 of 5 and he's almost chipped that straight to short mid wicket. It almost carried as well. Maybe a foot before the fielder. But we need half chances like that to go our way though. That's been cut away and cut away for four. Well, bad balls, they are surely putting them away. Any full tosses, any short balls, any wide balls, they are getting smacked. 
Babar Azamon, 48 of 95, tries to go for an inside out drive, gets a thick edge and Gali does the rest. That was a googly, he picks it and plays with the spin through the covers. But the problem was the ball turned a lot more than he expected, gets the edge and we get the big fish right there. Pakistan has six down now. Look at that ball. Look at that turn. And look at that catch. Oh, this time the regular leg spinner goes in between bat and pad and almost gets the off stamp. Oh, that was so close. This time he manages to pick it and picks it just over point. That was actually much closer than I first thought. He didn't time it that well. Off the toe it comes and maybe if he was a little quicker. No, it still was away though. Toss stamp, a lovely shot, two full. So he plays against the spin, not a lot of risk, and he'll get four runs. This ground is comically small. I mean, this is this is like a Kali cricket ground. You beat one fielder and you get four runs. That's it. Again, looped up, and Nawaz decides the bowler is a little too arrogant. So he just smacks me straight down for four. Toss that ball up, pitched it right up there and I mean that shot was deserved as well. We have two men deep on the offside because of that extra cover drive that they've been playing for so long. Wonderful. That should have been stopped. They'll get one. Now they're coming back for two. No one is bothered to go and pick up the ball. Finally someone decides to do that but they'll get through for two runs. Another lovely drive. I don't know how he managed to find that small gap between short cover and silly mid off. He does that and he'll get three or maybe two, I think. Three runs, good running. Yeah, <laughs> that is an awful ball. Deserved to be punished. He makes zero mistakes there. Nice and tossed up. Pitching outside leg and it's turning even more. That ball deserved to be punished. Now they're trailing by only 47. Ah, that was so close to the off stump. Bat then onto the shoe. And then it almost went back onto the off stump. Again, looped up, looped up too much. On the full it goes and goes away for four. I am just giving him some gifts here. Well, you've been going with these two spinners and not giving anyone else the ball. He's trying to go over the extra cover region and some good fielding here. We've actually been good in the field except for that one misfield. They're forming a nice little partnership here. Ah. You gotta break it. They trail by what? Only 40 runs I think. This game can move very fast because of the low scoring nature and why am I bowling so badly here these last 5-6 overs I've bowled so many bad balls and every single one of them have gone to the boundary. Oh that was a good ball and he's taken it. Got the edge that was a beautiful ball tossed up but still not too full. A good length delivery he tries to go for it and I don't know what that catch was but I will take it. He's trying to hit a 6. He's trying to hit that ball out of the ground, but gets an inside edge and a weird catch behind the stumps and number 7 gone for Pakistan, almost number 8 right there, but nobody home there. We have 4 fielders in the deep now, just want him to take a single and get the lower order batsman on strike, but we still have a slip, a gully, so we are attacking both batsmen a little. Over pitch every time I pull an over pitch toss up delivery, they are making sure they get at least four. Again, a good delivery there, somewhat of an inside out drive. Just have to be careful that I don't keep don't keep bowling over pitch deliveries. That was not great either. But just a single. Oh, so close. So close. That ball was bowled. I mean, it was a really slow looped up delivery. Got him beat in the air and got the edge almost. 
Now the keeper is rushing in. And another inside edge. They have been somewhat lucky to all these inside edges that have gone back onto the pad instead of the stumps. And they have played really well as well. And that is another example inside out drive. If I bowl short or two full, they are making short goes for four. Another good delivery. Come on, find the edge. And he's hit it in the air. Ah, that's still a very safe shot. No one deep. Trying to attack Shaheen Shah as much as possible. And because of that, we don't have much protection on the deep. In fact, I have only three fielders at the ring. Everyone else is close in. And now he goes, tries to go over the leg side and it almost carries to square leg. And eventful three or four overs here. Edged doesn't carry. Mm. The slip cordon a little closer to the batsman because we've seen two or three times where the ball just did not carry to slips. Edged, that is almost perfect off spinner's dismissal to a left-handed. Nicely tossed, stop, drifts in, pitches, turns, the batsman tries to defend, gets the outside edge and a somewhat normal catch there by the wicket keeper. Just perfect. Wicket number 8 gone. We are just probably minutes away. Let's hope they don't take uh, too long to get these two last wickets. Now Pakistan trailed by 15 I think. 170 for 8. Now we are full on attack mode. Inside edge and bold. I thought it was a catch caught behind but the ball has come back in off the pad to the to the off stump again very very full and a lot of turn gets the job done just one wicket away now and i get pulled away for four still cannot bowl shot even to number 11 and once again goes up in the air this time he hasn't managed to even clear point we will get the Last wicket of the innings, 179. After one and a half days, the test match is right where it was when we were out in the middle for the coin toss. We scored 189, they scored 179. We lead by eight runs. But I mean, that, that is insignificant right now. The match is going to be entirely dependent on the second innings because after the first innings, both teams right up neck and neck shot punched off the back foot through mid wicket and four well i'm going to try to play a lot off the back foot that was just one example and it goes away shot pulled again and pulled all along the ground and guided away for four we have scored 10 runs in 10 deliveries last time we were 10 after i think six overs now once again Pakistan have come back into this game at least by not giving us any free runs after the first two overs. But the good thing is we haven't lost in, lost a wicket. We need at least I mean, a minimum of 250 on the board. That's gone for four. Lucky but we'll take it. I mean it was there to be driven. It was very full. It wasn't that far away. I don't know why I got the inside edge either. But doesn't matter. We'll get 4. Now we lead by 25 runs. Now that is not that insignificant. Full again. Driven this time off the middle it goes. And that will be 4. Yes it is. Again over pitches. And pays the price. But in the first innings. A lot of batsmen got out to that half volley. Edged and gone. Well the Indian captain is gone. We were building a nice little partnership here, 23 runs, but that was not that that great of a ball either. I don't know how I managed to edge it, but wicket number one gone. Now we just have to make sure we don't collapse or anything. Why did I edge that ball? Wicket number two gone. I did no wrong right there, but doesn't matter. Once again, a half volley that just moves a little. Gets the edge and caught at first slip. We've lost two wickets in quick succession. 23 for 2 after 7. Now once again, 
this match i don't know now probably pakistan a little ahead i can't even tell anymore that's for that will help we need to set a target of at least 200 hopefully we can set more than that 250 maybe even 300 but i don't know it looks so hard from from here driven again that is gonna go away for four as well this time flick through mid wicket Shahinsha going for his trademark in swinging full delivery that gets the right hand his middle stump lying on the ground this time we were too good get some bat on it middle it and get four fall edged but goes through the empty gully region for four a little bit of luck once again half volley that just moves a little it was an in swigger but still got, got the edge Solid in defense there. Wait, what? Well, thank God we are comfortably in because that would have been one really stupid way of getting out in a situation like this. But thankfully, we are still here. Shot again, pulled off the meat of the blade. There's no stopping that. That fielder was like two meters away, but still, he just could not move. Lead by almost 60 runs here. Again, fall. Went for the flick. Maybe a little too much on the offside for a flick. But overthrows. And goes away for a single. For a second, I thought we'd lost our third right there. Outswinger straightens a little. Gets the leading edge. But fortunately, doesn't carry to extra cover. Yep. Off the back for this time. I have to play shots off the back for they are much safer and as you can see very rewarding. Timed well and we'll get four. Placed well as well. What did that ball do in the last possible movement? Punch straight and he doesn't stop that. And he's kicked that away. And that ball has gone away for four. I don't know how many times one fielder can misfield a ball because he at least misfielded the ball twice or thrice there. And on top of that, he kicked it away, I think. Ah, uh, look at that. First, doesn't bend down to stop it here. That should have not even been a single. Ten runs behind the ball. Tries to pick it up. Misfields here once again and then kicks it away. <laughs> well, he didn't even actually kick it away. But that ball just picks speed out of nowhere and goes away for four. Once again off the back foot and punts down for four. Well, if these balls are short enough, we can get off the back foot. These shots are very, very rewarding once you can connect. Oh, that was too quick. That ball was unusually quick. Almost got the outside edge. Oh man, just about 3-4 inches on top of the middle stump. Shot went for a back foot shot again. This time it back fires, gets the edge and another brilliant catch for our keeper. Maybe a little too short, bounces a little too much. Doesn't matter, that nice partnership has to end. We are 78 for 3. That was a seriously bad ball. Why is there not no ball? And I've still managed to miss it. Shot. Now he's bo bowling bounces and beamers. Oh, I think that is gone. It came off the glove. I think the umpire doesn't think so. Wait, what happened? It looked like it came off the glove. Nope, it has come off the arm. Very close there once again. Edge. Ah, soft, soft dismissal. I think that was a... Oh, he is a leg spinner. So that was a leg spinner. Gets the edge. And that ball... And I mean, it is probably... It was probably the easiest catch you'll see in test cricket. Finally, he gives me a loose delivery. And that will go away for four. On the pads, drifting. And spinning away. And just easily done. Now, once again, 85 for four. Awful ball again. Try to sweep it. It was way too late. That is close. But maybe pitching outside leg. 
Yeah, clearly pitching outside leg. Even the impact might be outside leg. Such a good ball. The bails are off, but they're still appealing. It looked as if it was bold. Hits the top of the pad. And the keeper collects it and dislodges, his, dislodges the bails. Oh, that was a beauty there. Comes back in and if it hadn't hit the top top of the pad, that would have been that would have been an easy bowl. Again, beautiful bowling. Beats the outsiders this time. Spin on both ends means we just do not score at all. Shot again. Ah. I actually tried to hit that ball in the air. Failed spectacularly. Maybe for the better. That bad there. Those balls are actually very hard to play. These almost beamers. Edge but no first slip. And this might actually go for 4. Yes it does. 3 fielders close to the bat. And it goes through the one region where they don't have a fielder placed. Ah, beautiful. Again beats the outside edge for the, I don't know, the hundredth time in this test match. I mean, if you have to get out, you have, you get out to a ball like that. That is as unplayable as a leg spinner can get. I think it pissed outside leg, so I decided to flick it. Then it turned and turned and turned and probably hit top of off. That is Picture perfect, not a thing wrong about that ball, and there's not much a batsman can do. Well, wicket number five gone. There was almost six. Ball it wasn't even short enough, but we managed to get bat on it. That fielder will pull it back in, and we'll get three runs, which should have been a run out. Two full, not short enough for a ball. I wanted to play a back foot drive. Ball like that, just toss it up and give me some over pitch deliveries. And at least I can rotate the strike. Again, this time gives me a full toss. Easy as a ball can get. Punch to long off and a, another single. Slowly building this innings up. We only lead by 111. We need at least another 100 runs. Oh, come on, get back. Well, that is close, but I think we managed to come back in. Oh, almost got out there. Just by sheer laziness. Fast bowlers are back on. I'm going to try to score as much as possible here. Punch down the ground. That should be two. Nope, that's time to perfection. Four. Edged. And it goes through that same region it did last time. They still don't have first slip. This time it runs away faster for four. Try to play it off the back foot as well. The keeper had no chance. 34.2 overs done. 118. We lead by 126. We need at least 80 more runs. Full toss there. And finally the fast bowlers have come back after some time. And we are finally starting to score a little freely. Oh... Not full enough for any kind of shot and instead I try to hit it through mid wicket. Very thick edge and once again goes past Gully for 4. This nice little partnership going here. Full toss. Try to hit it for 6. But we'll take this as well. That was almost a free hit. It was nice and wide. Nice and full. All I had to do was swing the bat through the ball. Got an edge and it goes away. And this time, once again, that back foot shot backfires and inside edge this time. Well, back foot drives, I don't know. They work about five times and then they get you out about two or three times as well. So not as safe as I initially thought. Well, six gone. But the one good thing is we have somewhat of a deep batting order. Look at that fall straight. Just flicked. It wasn't a drive. Flicked straight for four. And our lead slowly climbing. I mean, this has not been a high-scoring game. Not one team has yet crossed 200. That's been hit full toss again. And as soon as I saw that, I just had to go for it. Almost goes away for our first six. 
part just for little too flat now run rate slowly climbing up now it's once again 3.68 nearing 4 inside edge and gone every time we look a little good pakistan come back with a wicket and once again the match hangs right in the balance fall driven straight oh the ball was right the ball was right there i thought it hit the stumps but bat onto the pad and the ball was right in front of my nose and i didn't even realize that flick fine that should be four walked across converted a really good ball and somehow managed to get four valuable runs here we lead by 156 just another 70 80 runs that's all we need because this has been a low scoring game overthrows there come on run hard and we'll get for a single this has been a low scoring game so 232 40 is gonna be a tough chase again in that slot full on the pads i just decide to hit it as straight as i can and it works this time ah oh, beautiful he comes from over the wicket balls at good pace takes it across it even comes back in a little that is an absolute peach why is that ball still so shiny it is a 40 over ball but it was still shining as if it is maybe 10 overs old at max and now they have two fielders close in for that short ball and two fielders out in the outfield so i guess they're just gonna keep bowling bounces still have the same feel leg gully short mid wicket let's see where he bowls most probably a short ball yes a short delivery try to pull it over mid wicket and almost ended up giving a catch to short mid wicket well the lead now almost 170 they're gonna go back to spin this is not great news for us there you go how were you supposed to face that maybe on the back foot i could have played a little better look at that pitch is outside off and he's coming from around the wicket then spins back in that ball is turning all over the place off the back foot edge doesn't carry pakistan just two wickets away now and the target will only be under 200 i mean if you get out now it's only 171 with that four Ball. maybe i should just do this against fast bowlers and hope and pray that i don't get out against spin bowlers full inside edge the keeper very quick but we'll get through off the deflection now the leg side is totally empty almost i'm gonna try to loft the ball short and we've done that ah, that's four hopefully they keep the same feel i can play this shot a few more times and get the target up to 200 and flick once again and flick very well for four two boundaries in a row eight runs i mean eight runs are so valuable when your entire target is only 180 well there we go pitches outside leg drags me out try to defend it then the ball decides to turn and gets the leg stump once again unplayable ball wicket number nine gone we are just one wicket away i have no idea why the ball is so shiny now now it is 50 overs old almost shot again and got smacked off the bat it goes back well that will be the end of the session and end of day two as well and once again the match is not too too much in one team's hands maybe pakistan are a little ahead but remember no team has gotten above 190 in this game so chasing 182 is not going to be as easy at, as it is on other pitches if you want to see some t20 action click the video on screen to see rcb and csk in action for now like comment and subscribe for more cricket 24 videos and updates thanks for watching and have a great day wherever you are